Okay, I'm going to put the box in today. Uh, I've pretty much worked out I've got enough room to stand on it, positioned wise. So the first thing that I've got to do is put some centre lines just on here uh, and also on the bottom of the board. So I'm going to take it in the shed and mark things up. Okay, centre line on the box is going to be easy enough, but because of the taper on the back here, I'm going to make a few measurements, uh, make some marks and then just take the average line down at the bottom, from the top to the bottom. Things look pretty bob on at the back there, 30 centimetres, 15's right in the middle, so I'll put a mark there. Okay, I've marked out the bottom of the board. Uh, this is the most important cut really, because this is where it's going to be touching the water. So you want it neat on this side, more preferably than the top part. Uh, so I've marked that out and I've also put a couple of marks on the, on the jet box. Country mile out there. So once you've got that squared up, are we in? Are we in? So once you've got it squared up. We're going to make a mark down the side. Uh, now the thing is not to have this too big, otherwise you'll have a large gap at the bottom. So just where the bottom is, just make sure that your pen isn't going to do an oversized line. You look down the box. It's nice and tight. It's a bit tighter because you can always cut a little bit out with a sharp knife at the end. Okay, we've got the magic lines worked out. What I'm going to do is cut it with a quality hand saw uh, and use the jigsaw just to go down this line here. Uh, as I cut the line, I'm not going to cut it super squared. I'm going to go very, very neatly along this line just on the inside, but I'm going to angle the saw slightly tapering it in, not too much just so that I don't cut too much out of the other side uh, which I can always, because it's only foam, do with a very sharp knife uh, but just to get the first cut and the, the bulk out of the way we're going to use this fella on a slight angle just like that uh, but not like that, like that so we're cutting a slight V in really uh, so we get a nice fit on the top as well okay, lovely stuff smaller board than the other one so it's not as thick it cuts easy I don't know where the uh, the rods are in it oh dear and now you see because I'm not concentrating and talking I've gone a little bit over there now uh, so yeah so as you can see we just cut it on a slight angle in uh, that means that we're not going to overcut the other side I'll put a couple of pilot holes in for this bit if you can't afford a jigsaw you can use a hacksaw blade just to get the stringer, might, stringer might be a bit of trouble but you can get the wood sawed in once you've got a little bit of gap in there. Okay. Alright. We had two stringy dingers. <coughs> yeah, I don't know if you can see but everything just tapers in slightly. 
uh, and we'll finish that off with a very sharp blade in a bit. Yeah. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> okay, I've squared up the bottom, the top to the bottom using a rasp. And then to clean, give a clean cut finish, you use a ruler, metal ruler, with a sharp blade on it. We're just trying to get things nice and square. Shouldn't be a million miles out. Okay. No, it's not bad at all, really. Just got those stringers a little bit proud there, so I can push that up a bit. That line's a little bit out, but you won't see it from Wigan Pier. If you're on Wigan Pier. Okay, I'm just holding the box in place with some tape. Uh, and what I'm doing is just putting a line round to see where the bonding's going to be so that I can rough the aluminium box up. Okay, it's all been chopped out pretty nicely now. I've marked the. where I'm going to rough it up, and I've also put a couple of holes where I'm going to be filling with the expanding foam once it's in place. Uh, it's not just expanding foam, it's an adhesive polyurethane. And you can get a few goals out of it as well. Uh, it seems to do the job up to now. I've been running the other board, I've not had any sort of issues with the uh, loosening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape the box into place uh, and get ready for a bit of a squirting session. Hopefully things don't get too messy. Before I started squirting as well, I've put some uh, clear sellotape on there and just put a hole once I squirt the, uh, the the foam in yeah I then put a piece pull the, pull the nozzle out and put a piece of tape over that just to stop it this is to stop it getting on the aluminium so we'll see how that works out okay this job's going too quick I've had to slow it down by having a cup of tea uh, but I put some holes in it that's where we're going to get the uh, the filler putting through and I've also put some channels for the filler to run up, chase along and hopefully get a good bind. Okay. Okay, I've put some tape on the bottom here and get it nice and flush and once it's nice and flush there, stick some tape on this side just to hold it in place. We're going to fill it full of, we're going to squeeze the foam in and then we're going to manipulate it a little bit just before we let it set. But if you put a, a piece of tape down this side as well, it'll lock that in from moving around too much. Okay, okay, yeah, all round up. Watch it jump out all over me, all over the job. So I'm gonna have to. That's how we fill it up anyway. I don't want it to jump off, so I'm gonna have to do it with two hands. blocking it before firing out now so what I'm going to do is close that up and put a bit of tape over that hole as quick as I can right. okay so yeah I think I've got full penetration it's usually a good sign when stuff squirting out the sides there there and just around the box around the top let's get the scrubbing brush out later and clean that off Uh, not bad, gone wild. <laughs> Had to clean that out as well. All right, yeah, should have had some nice little plugs. I wanted to make some nice little plugs to go in there, but you know what? I just have not got the time to do everything. So yeah, a little five-minute clean-up job. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to turn it on its side and make sure that everything's nice and square underneath and flat just before everything sets, and I'll let it set probably on its side. All right. Okay, I've just got to let that dry now. I'm very happy with the uh, the finish, really. Uh, yeah, just looking from this side here, everything looks lovely. The 
tin of, of the box is just slightly in a little bit. That's because when you rub on things, you tend to find that the uh, if your box is flush, you might get a snag if you hit a rock or something. Just having it a, a, a millimetre lower than the board uh, just helps you helps a bit. Okay, it's the next day. It's fitted in lovely. Uh, the stuff that's come over the top finishes comes off quite easy with a knife like that. Make sure there's no eye bits. Otherwise, I'll be a bit scabby then when they're done. Okay, and I'm going to use shoe goo on the top. I'm just going to put a bead of it. You bear with me. Normally, I'd put it on a stick, but for the, the purposes of filming. Yeah, so alright, I'm making a mess of it at the moment because I'm having to hold it. You can see what we're trying to do is make sure we've got a nice bond all the way around there. Okay, a bit neater doing it with two hands. Okay, it's the bottom. We can let the uh, shoe goo dry off. Uh, cleaning this up, don't use any steel on it, just use the back of a lollipop stick. You won't mark the aluminium as much. And I'm going to use Gorilla Glue for this because it's got a harder finish than the uh, shoe goo so it will resist any scratches or creating anything that's going to uh, stick off and create drag on the board it's a bit cleaner finish, harder finish if you do go too deep or have a big hole and you've got a little bit of this line around you can always pull a little bit off drop it on the job and then just tease it down and in if you need to fill a gap it's going to suck up a bit too much nothing really wants doing here what do you mean uh, but if you've got a big gap and you need to fill it just get a blob of that and just push it in because it's not structural this it's just to uh, stop stop the water getting in the board and also to uh, make it a little bit more uh, streamlined there's a word for you okay uh, I filled this in with Gorilla Glue uh, but we did cut some channels out of there which weren't necessary so I've just got a little bit of expanding foam and uh, filled them in gone out now and I've just put them flush uh, what we're going to do is put the tray in finish things off alright I'll get that cut out and put in well that's it I think it looks quite groovy I like the lines on it I might take it down a little bit cut it flush a little bit more but I just want to leave the shape on it for now, a little bit fancy. Uh, the board is a bit thinner than the other board, so things are standing a little bit proud off the deck, but I reckon you can put your foot against that and hold yourself in tight.